And the Tea Party people, the rest of them have come out. So it looks like there may be as many as a dozen people on the bus all together. Davis Committee, yes. the most successful recall campaign Woo. in the history of this nation where we kicked Yay. out a very liberal, big spending type governor. <laughs> the reason we had that recall was because of malfeasance in office, because of the lies that he had, because he did not do his job. A recall is not for a policy disagreement. A recall is for when people do not do their job, when they run away from their job, when they go to another state, when they hide out, when they go to a resort. That's when you recall somebody. If they don't want to do the job, they shouldn't have the job. If you disagree with the policy, engage in an argument. But no, if you bang a drum and blow a horn, and ring a cowbell, that's because you're desperate, you don't have an argument, all you have is the ability to make noise. You know? Attorneys are taught that if the law is on your side, you pound home the law. If the facts are on your side, you pound home the facts. If you don't have either the law or the facts on your side, you pound the table and make a lot of noise and confusion. And that's what the protesters are here today doing. Making the noise and confusion. They have no argument. Because what they did in the state senate and in the state legislature is what they promised you that they would do. And what they did has worked. School district after school district after school district has rescinded the layoff notices that they were going to send out. And they have kept their teachers because they are now able to keep the school district solvent. And the reason they can keep the school district solvent is because they are not tied to the monopoly of one health insurance provider anymore. You realize this is the big secret that the teachers union doesn't want to talk about. The WEA trust is something that was negotiated into the contracts where you, they, they told the school districts you can only buy your health insurance from one source, the teachers union insurance company. And so if that one source is the only place you can buy your insurance from, guess what's going to happen to the rates? It's going to get jacked up. And that's what's happened to the rates here in Wisconsin. They've gone up and up and up. That's why the unions agreed to give concessions. They said, we agree. We'll give away our, uh, all that you want. We'll pay for our pensions. We'll pay for our health insurance more. We'll pay whatever you want. Just don't take this away from us because, you see, they want to make the millions and millions of dollars for the union on the insurance of WEA Trust. That is corruption in this state, and that corruption has ended, and that's why you are now coming into solvency and in the black. Give up your benefits! That's why we're here to support that. 
because if you don't get this solved here in Wisconsin, then who's going to have courage to do the right thing throughout the entire nation? And we need that, otherwise our nation goes into insolvency and bankruptcy as well. I'd like to now introduce Annette Olson, who is the local Hudson Tea Party leader. Annette Olson, ladies and gentlemen. pressure and exact significant funds needed for our families. Large corporations intimidate their human resources. I resent that label. I am not a human resource. I used to work for a big corporation. I resent it. But they ship our jobs overseas because our government allows it and makes it profitable for that to happen. Big banks and Federal Reserve manipulate our money supply and economy under the veil of secrecy and immunity. And the slimy politicians of both parties look us in the eye and blatantly lie to us while holding out their hand for yet another campaign donation. They all twist our minds, appeal to our urges, our wants, our traps. They trap us, they divide us, and thereby they forge our chains. There is no remedy from this disease but free thinking self-education, hawk-like vigilance, sacrifice, and hard work to lift ourselves and regain our independence. To get ahead, we must work hard, take risks, be productive. If America is to be strong and to survive, we must pull our own weight in unity and freedom. The few can no longer support the many. There is no honor in receiving government handouts or clinging to ill-gotten excessive gains at the expense of others. 
There's no government money. It all originates from us. Our country needs the talents that he gave all of us, red shirters and other people, to pros prosper personally as a nation. We must exploit our own talents and reward and self-fulfillment for ourselves. Stand for independence. Be united for individual freedom. Reject manipulating influences regardless of the cost. And freely, not at the point of an IRS gun, give and help the truly needy outside of the government-controlled domain. Charity must not come from the government. And I tell you this, my fellow Americans, all of you, exploit yourselves and give freely. Don't allow yourselves to be exploited and twisted by others. Now what I've attempted to describe here are the principles that I see in Senator Harsdorf. These things that we, as responsible citizens, need to encourage are being displayed right now in Madison. Governor Walker, and the senators that chose to stay. You know, back in the early days of the Revolutionary War, it was tough. Washington had a tough time getting his militia to stand on the line and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the British regulars, with the Redcoats. They fled. They fired a volley, maybe they reloaded, then they fired a second volley, and then they scrammed. This is just like what happened in Washington, D.C., couple days ago. Our guys who were fiscally responsible stood the line. They stood there and they fought and they didn't give up. Yeah, we lost the battle. But at least we got people starting to think. We got to change the paradigm. We got people to think a different way. And come 2012, it's going to be different because we're going to get more people. And that's what we need to support. Budget Hawks stood the line. And where do you think they got that idea? Where do you think they got that intestinal fortitude? Could it have been our Wisconsin legislatures that stood the line and fought and supported Walker and Walker himself who led the charge? I think it is. I think it is. Wisconsin leads the way. And we can lead the way in unity or we can lead the way divided. We all care about our children. We all care about our friends, our family. We, go we all care about the Packers. At least I think we do. That's why this election is so important. We must stand in unity. We must support those standing on the line. We cannot let them fail. And we must reinforce that line. Unite behind fiscally responsible and liberty promoting candidates. Take charge of your own life. Exploit yourselves and give freely, but don't allow others to exploit you. Thank you. My name is Mike Christine. Good job, Mike. Next, we're going to hear from Judson Phillips, the Tea Party Nation leader. Judson. Good afternoon, Wisconsin! Go home! By the way, somebody, some kind person a few minutes ago stopped and gave me a fortune cookie. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Hey, let's see what it says. It says... Sheila wins! Before I get started, I want to take a moment to recognize some very special people. And no, it is not the brain donors over here. I had the privilege for working, I had the privilege for 23 years of working in the criminal justice system as both a prosecutor and a criminal defense lawyer and I had a chance to meet a lot of good police officers. We've got a bunch of them here today in uniform. Most of us would not risk our lives for a million dollars. These guys do it every day for a whole lot less. As you're on your way out, make sure you stop and thank them for the job that they've done.
friends, I came here from Nashville, Tennessee. I do not come from Nashville, Wisconsin. I do not come from Nashville, Minnesota. I do not come from Nashville, Indiana. I came here for one reason, because I have had a lot of experience with liberals. And I came here to stand with the people of Wisconsin, because guess what? Liberals want to shut you up. Right here, we have poster children for the tragedy of birth control failure. They do not want to compete in the free market of ideas. They can't. You know why? Their ideas suck. Instead, what they want to do, they want to shut you up. They don't believe in freedom. They don't believe in liberty. They don't believe in America. They don't believe in the Bill of Rights. They are not real Americans.